What's up guys and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today we are going to be making some uh, questionable financial decisions, but uh, it's going to be worth it, man. You only live once. Ooh, okay, I don't know how we just saved that. That was terrifying. Um, we've been saving up money, you know, doing wheel spin episodes, all kinds of stuff for a reason. And uh, now it's time to literally blow everything that we have. So our last big purchase was this Koenig Suggesco. That's $2.8 million. We are going to be buying Buenas Vistas. So this is on the far west side of the map. It's in the, uh, the Cabo area here. And uh, let's see what the house comes with. Oh, beach views. Lots of rooms. Lindo. And don't worry. The garage is big too, I checked. I mean, that's good to hear. So, we're going to get two super wheel spins and fast travel to any road on the map for 2 million credits. Well, well, well. Felicidades! Well now, do we lay around on the beach or get back on the road? Definitely Great get back on the road. my friend. Cheers the keys. I mean, I, 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 you know, love a little beachfront property. Can't go wrong with that. I guess we can set this thing as our home, but um, yeah, the, the biggest, I honestly feel like this is the, the biggest, most important upgrade that we could possibly have. So you guys can see now, instead of only being able to fast travel either to events and outposts or homes that you own, I can literally just fast travel to a road. So if I'm trying to go to a new event, if I'm trying to go to a specific part of the map, like, you know, say I want to get up to the very top of the volcano. Now all it takes is a couple of clicks. Bam, we're there. You guys know we've, we've you know, already grinded, taken out all the XP boards and stuff. So our fast travel is free. And now we can fast travel literally anywhere on the map, which is uh, obviously going to save us a ton of time. I'm all about it, baby. Anything that saves time and effort gets us out in the road is definitely a big plus for me the next one we're going to be buying i believe i'm looking for property options is it this one here hotel castillo for five million credits let's see what we're working with here let's actually let's let's pull in do our due diligence want to make sure that we're not just buying this site unseen this is going to be our new castle up on top of the hill, baby. Ed Sheeran would be uh, would be so proud of us. Sweeping, expansive views around the entire map. Look at this archway that we, we get to drive through. This thing is just, this is incredible. This is by far the most expensive expensive house in the game. If you want me to be honest, I feel like it's it's not that worth it. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. So it, it, you know, financially it's gonna take a while to recover from this, but eventually it should pay itself off because we do get wheel spins out of it. I just wanted to do a little a little loop around there. So yeah, let's um let's go ahead and purchase this thing, see what this is about. This is a big investment, my friend. If you're sure I'll call the owners and vouch for you. I'm sure they'll hand over the keys when they know it's you. <laughs> All right, so two super wheel spins and a daily wheel spin each day we attend Horizon Mexico for five million dollars. Let's Whoa! do it. How does it feel to own a castle? Enjoy, my friend. So really, over time, that free wheel spin should pay itself off. I mean, we we've got to get lucky. I'm gonna I'm gonna say let's let's keep the the other one as our our home. So it should pay itself off. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. But I had the opportunity to buy a castle, so I thought, you know what? Let's let's just you know flex a little bit and. Uh, Buy ourselves a castle. I mean, she even comes with an Aventador in the garden, so you, you can't be mad at it. Try to get a little thumbnail action here. That that looks pretty good right there. Yeah, okay. So anyway, I mean, to be honest, I kind of feel like that was a bit of a waste of money. It, it you know, wheel spins aren't that great. Um, so I, if it was a daily super wheel spin, I feel like that would be a lot more worth it. Now, I don't, uh, do we just fast travel here every time we visit Horizon Mexico? Is that is that how we get it? Is it going to pop up for us? Do we have to just enter the festival? I'm not sure. It might auto add to our, our host of wheel spins. Bottom line is we have the best house in the game. So slight, slight flex, flex, slight flex on these fools. Feel, feel good about it. Now, uh, in this episode, we are going to be expanding our horizons a little bit. Pardon the pun. And uh, we actually have a, a ton of tickets here. So we can upgrade pretty much everything anywhere we want. We're going to add a bunch of new races and stuff. So I'm going to say, let's, I guess, let's just start with this. Um, Vocho, find and restore a legendary car. All right. 
Let's unlock this bad boy and expand our uh, our main festival here. I'll tell her you're available. Honestly, she won't say it, but I know this is important to her. Hey, Ellie, how can I help? Jump in the buggy. I'll tell you the story on the way. Okay, so Alejandra needs some help. Gonna be restoring Rabino some old cars here. Old things at his father's home last week, and he found this photo. He gave it to me, said I might enjoy it, but I don't think he realized what he was. My friend, what would you say are the two most important things in Mexican culture? Uh, family and food, family and art, family and music. Oh, good answers. <laughs> Clothes, familia, and the Volkswagen Beetle. Gocho is the Mexican nickname. My bisabuelo Fernando was the first Torres to own one. And thanks to that photo, I think I know where it is. Seriously? Let's go find it. So all this for an old Volkswagen Beetle, huh? Alright, well, we're gonna have to get there in, in 10 minutes or less is gonna be our target. I would imagine we're not gonna have too hard of a time with that considering so, we are most of the way there. Bisabuelo means great-grandfather. But in the family, he's just Papa Fernando. We never met, but everyone says I'm exactly like him. <laughs> Loca por autos. You have to understand, in Mexico, a bocho is like the family member that lives in your garage. Papa Fernando loved that car to death. Well, let's bring it back <laughs> to life definitely for him. the place. But, no sé, why would Papa Fernando bring the bocho up here? The storms can get tremendas. So our first barn find. Let me just check the door. Is that key? <laughs> it's really here. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude, this thing is Fernando. sick. But look at it. I've never seen a beetle like that. Gonna be able to do some wheelies in this bad boy, man. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm assuming... Oh, the weather's closing in. I don't like the look of the roads around here. You drive the truck. Oh, nice. Got it. Okay, so usually the barn finds are like you find them and then you, you know. Putting a new battery, plenty of oil, llantas, or electrico. Oh, this is gonna be hard, even for me. You have to wait a while, and the it's game gives it to you when you pay Maybe money for it. But go. here, we're literally <laughs> gonna know, tow it home. I wouldn't be surprised. Be able to drive this big flatbed Horizon Festival truck. Uh, I considered going straight right there, but I don't think those mud flats are going to be very kind to this thing. Might be able to cut across this section. Corners are made to be cut, baby. So I wonder if we're... Because, I mean, this obviously isn't like a typical barn finds. Uh, maybe not so lucky after all. Ah, looks like road works. Can you find a way past it? Oh, yeah. Hmm. We'll I be think right. I can manage that. <laughs> That's one way through. But, um, yeah, obviously this is not a normal one, so I, I don't know if we're going to earn the car after or not. That's the thing about a bocho. It's not just a car. It's a lifestyle. Just a car. It's a lifestyle. I can't, can't say I've always wanted a slug bug, but I guess it's pretty cool. wonder if driving one, people ever see people, like, you know, slugging each other because they see the slug bug. Be kind of fun, kind of like a, a, you know, quirky thing, like a, you know, Jeep's Jeep wave. You drive a slug bug, you see people just decking each other as they pass you. Kind of a cool thing. Park the truck here. I'll take care of the rest. What did I tell you? Finding lost cars isn't magic. It takes good luck, hard work, and sometimes a drone. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my friend, the hard work is just getting started. Call you soon. So this is going to be one of those ones where you go down the list. If you earn your skill points and your stars and whatever. I mean, I'm going to be honest, that was that was pretty boring. I, I like the ones where we're out and about and we're exploring and stuff. So let's let's go do Hola, one of those. Amigo. I've been working on the bocho and learning more about Papa Fernando. Come meet me when you have time. I'll show you what I mean. Hey, Trevor. Got some adventure plans for you when you have time. Perfect. So I'm going to say let's let's go down the list and Im improve these outposts here. So we're going to start with the apex Lucha de Carre Car Carreteras. Secure the blessing of El Campeón. See what this is about. Looks like we're going out to the uh, the jungle. I know, right? There's Mexican car wrestling at Horizon and I'm stuck up in the operation center. 
adding it to your schedule. Let's head on out. The nice part is we can literally just fast travel right there. This, it's it's the best thing that I've ever done. Just right right to the event. That that two million dollars is the best money you can spend in Forza Horizon, hundred percent guaranteed. Here we go. Just gonna be like luchador fighting with cars. Not really sure what to expect here. This is el campeón. One of the greatest lucha de carreteras fighters in Mexico. Señor Campeón, may I present the driver I told you about? Híjole, <laughs> that went well. Wait, what? That means El Campeón will train you. But you must prove that you're worth his time. I've got a car ready. Okay, let's see what this is about. So, you need to really keep that speed up. Lucha de Carreteras is about agility, speed, and precision. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. So we want to get up above 130 miles an hour and Jimmy stay there. Mexico's beloved world-famous wrestling, and Lucha de Carreteras is the latest evolution of lucha and racing. So, it is necessary to have El Campeón's blessing for the festival. Woo! I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is, is not very good at staying above 130 that 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 is up towards the top end of what what she can do so we got to be smart about our lines here and try to uh try to just keep that pedal pin even at full throttle taking a corner we're almost we're almost falling take the right take a right sounds good to me and we're gonna have a left I mean, this is kind of nice. What's that? Isn't there a movie about this? Where the bus had to ahead. stay above like 80 miles an hour or something? Even just going through a fence puts us under 130. Also got to worry about... It's Lucha Libre Heroes. It's crucial to have El Campeón's blessing for the Lucha de Carreteras. So let's really keep that speed up. Do we think we're going to be able to cut across the beach here? I don't think we're going to be able to keep it up at above 130 if we go in the sand. I really want to beat that 147 time. 0.8 miles, 17 seconds. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat it. Um, yeah, this 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 was a bad idea. Okay, we're we're not we're not going to be able to go through there, Trev. Let me let me just hit the rewind on that. You thought you thought you might be able to cut through, but nope. We might we might get it here. 141. We did not get it. Holy cow. That's definitely enough to impress El Campeón. Well done. El Campeón is prepared to take you on as a student. I guess I need Felicidades. it. So that's going to give us a two star. Dang it, dude. Off by 2.2 seconds. Back on the Horizon Adventure here. Let's take on our next Wilds one. El Camino. Fall in the footsteps of an intrepid explorer. Remember the old book I told you about? I went and dug it out of a box at my father's place. I want to try and find something. And you need a driver. And I need a driver. A little treasure hunt in action yeah. in El Camino. Yeah. Head for Las Barrancas. I'll explain on the way. Okay, this is kind of fun. So if you guys remember in the, the very, very, so, very first episode. What are we looking for? My favorite book is called El Camino de Sidney Wolverstone, about an explorer who traveled Mexico 200 years ago. In her book, she describes these Atlantis she found, giant statues. But there aren't supposed to be any of those near here. Giant statues? From an old book? <laughs> that aren't supposed to exist, yes! I've been piecing together clues from the book. Do you think you can get this car right into the river at the bottom of the Copper Canyon? I will get you there, don't you, you worry. Don't know me very well. Just plow through the trees, baby. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you guys remember back in the very first episode, like even before our main just threading the needle here, even before our, our, our main series started, back when we were like in the early access, we had to go into the storm and take a photo with the Jeep Gladiator. I think this is an extension of uh of her missions. Beautiful. All right, we just shaved off a, a bunch of time there. Let me see what's going on here. Um, I mean, do we think we can cut across here? It's tough because we're starting to get into some, some very sketchy territory. 
I th I think we might we might be able to make it work. I'm gonna take a right here though. I'm gonna I'm gonna really just kind of send this and and hope for the best here. The problem is a lot of these cliffs are just not not climbable. This is probably a terrible idea. We have not hit a tree or a rock or anything immovable yet, so that's pretty exciting. Oh my goodness! Oh. Okay. Uh, yep. Uh, we're just taking the, the the quick route home here. Oh shoot! Come on, baby. Fastest route down the mountain. Come on. Get me there. We got two minutes and 21 seconds. Beautiful. Just exactly how the, the doc drew it up right there. Okay. We made it to the statue with a minute to spare and the car is is in great condition. All right. Let me, let me just go ahead and grab that. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Got her done. Whew. Bit of a bumpy ride, but we, we got it done. That's what matters. That is incredible. How has no one ever found this before? The path less traveled. Sometimes it's not the answer. Okay, we've got three more ticket stubs we're gonna be able to do. That's gonna be perfect because we're gonna be able to rank up everything all at once. Buggy and the Beast step into the ring and wrestle with a monster. These are kind of fun. Some a little bit different. Just to be able to break things up. This one for a while. It's the showcase I've always wanted to do. See you there. All right, sounds good to me. So let's uh, just head over to the uh, the top of the volcano. I think we might be sending it downhill a little bit. So it's a good thing we practiced with that last one. Dude, I can't get over the fact that we're insta-fast traveling to everything. It is so nice. Okay, now this is epic. Some, I feel like some of these can get a little bit slow, a little bit tedious, you know, going and taking a picture next to a statue, not all that exciting. But driving a, oh, we're not driving a monster truck. We're driving whatever the heck this thing is. It's still gonna be epic though. Just hope, hope we don't get run over. The buggy and the beasts. Okay, you versus some monster sized trucks. This is gonna be good. Here we go. We're gonna have to beat these big boys. Just tearing through everything. Look at the suspension on that bad boy. We are smaller, a little bit more agile. Looks like we might have a slightly better top speed as well. Send it straight off the side of the mountain, baby. We might land on top of him. Nope, just kidding. He's quicker than us. We are still on the pro difficulty from, from our races last episode, so I'm hoping we're going to be able to be able to make quick work of this. Going to hop inside for a little bit here, although to be honest, this is, this is not the race for it. It is so hard to see in these roll cage buggies or really anything with a roll cage, so let's hop back outside. Don't give yourself a haircut there, Trev. Ooh, he's quick. All right. Um, hello, sir? You, you, there's no way you're hitting the checkpoint. I love these showcase events, dude. So sick. Uh, not our best corner. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just not... Not. I mean, it, it wasn't too slow, but it wasn't, it wasn't our best. Gonna come around through here. I mean, do we have to ramp it? I feel like not ramping is going to make us quicker. Going to the right would have been quicker there, but we'll be okay. We got double trouble now, baby. <laughs> He's two wheeling it over there. Sir, you missed the checkpoint again. You're cheating. What kind of a race is this that they don't even have to hit it? Literally missing all the checkpoints. Okay.
<laughs> Bro, this game is so ridiculous. I love it so much. This could this could bring a tear to my eye. I'm gonna bank a left here, try to stay out of the trees, Trev. It's not really where you wanna be, I don't think. You guys are running into each other up. Up and over the church. Let's just try to keep this thing nice and steady as possible. They always make it seem like you're going to lose these races. And right at the last second, you get the chance to come back and beat them. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. 77% of the way through. Looks like we've got a pretty a pretty straight line through the... What? Homie just hit a turbo boost. Where do you get enough, enough speed to be able to wheelie like that? Come on, baby. Keep it up, Trev. Dude, these guys are, are thooming, bro. Gonna split the middle here. Did we get the win? Oh my god. I, I didn't know if we were going to get that. That was incredible. Okay, that see, stuff like that. You love to see it. You did it. Of course you did it. Now, how about a victory lap in that thing? Abs I didn't know there was a monster truck in this game. Are we allowed to unlock this? Okay, we want to knock down some pins, get a speed of 90 miles an hour, the hidden board. We want to get some big airs, oh, ultimate oh. air skills. We've got two minutes to do it. That wasn't even an ultimate air, bro. What? How, how do you how do you want me to get that then? Here we go. Gonna try to run through as many bowling pins as possible. There's, I mean, we're there's no way we're gonna get all these. How is this not an ultimate air? Ultimate. Oh, there's an ultimate air. Okay, we got an ultimate air there. What is this thing? Okay, pop popped a few of those guys. I'm not sure if that actually does anything for us. We should get the. Uh, the bowling pins here. I think ultimate airs, we might just need a little a little more speed. We genuinely did pretty, we did pretty terrible here. Help, I'm a turtle and I can't get up. Gonna try to get this thing up to 90. Go straight, go straight, go straight, go straight. There it is, all right. Where do we think this hidden cactus is? We need more points. And we need ultimate air skills. I genuinely don't know how we haven't had more ultimate air skills because I feel like we, we killed that. I'm looking for the cactus. What are these little guys? Cactus, 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 cactus. I see a bunch of... I keep thinking the hay bales that are stacked up are a cactus. He's got to be in a weird spot. They're going to put him in a weird, like, backward spot or hidden behind some boxes or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, I feel like we got kind of bamboozled there because I hit a bunch of big airs. We'll, we'll take it, though. All right. Two out of five. That was a pretty miserable performance, but I'm sure we'll be able to redo this whenever we want. Let's expand Horizon Rush here. Add some more PR events to the thing. Catch me if you can. You battle with an unstoppable freight train. We're going to be racing a train here. This, see, this? these are what it's about, dude. You wait showcase i have the train and conductor on standby all i need now is a driver rocket league's looking pretty legit right my goodness dude the graphical upgrades this game has gone through in the past couple years are are nothing short of spectacular <laughs> just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier than racing two monster trucks
Don't race trains at home, by the way. That never, never do that. We're gonna be in a Kutosh too. Okay, this is gonna be fun. It's like one of those crazy math problems. A guy in a Kuntosh going 90 miles an hour. The now, train. I've raced trains before in the UK, but watch out for this conductor. I've never seen someone so competitive. Best of luck. I mean, that makes me a little bit nervous. Here we go, baby. Let's see what's more immovable, unstoppable object versus a Lamborghini Kuntosh. Thing's got, I don't even know how many tons of momentum behind it. It's going to be a point-to-point -point race here. Let's uh, do the absolute best we can. I'm going to hop inside, dude. It'd be so fun to, to drive one of these old-school Lambos. Everything's just all analog. There's no fanciness to it. It's so raw and visceral. Like an old gated Gallardo or something like that. It'd be so sick. Gallardos aren't really that old, obviously, especially compared to a Kuntosh, but still. Look at our bottom left, dude. We're, we've got like a major, major chicane we're gonna have to take. I don't see that there's any any way around it, whereas he's just gonna be able to go straight. That is... Uh, I'm not sure if they're allowed to be dropping carriages, but it's certainly gonna give the engine an advantage. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. So he doesn't have to go around the long way and he gets to drop weight as he's in the race. This is some BS. Sixty percent of the way through, we are very heavily in second place. Oh, oh, into the tunnel. Alright, I guess we get to take some small advantages as well. Holy cow. I didn't know there were tunnels in this game. Oh, he's Right there in front of us, we're close, baby. Hop, skip, and a jump over the uh, over the water there, and let's let's keep it rolling. I think this thing was meant to get muddy. A nice sprint to the finish here, dude. He's so far ahead. Come on, Trev. Come on, Trev. Come on, Trev. We gotta push it. We gotta push it. We gotta push it. Push it real good, baby. Got the win. Two minutes and three seconds. We caught him. <laughs> Laveau just says freight train as the vehicle. Amazing. Don't worry, I'll talk to the conductor. Might be able to use them on the festival roster, actually. Perhaps driving something a little lighter? What if instead we borrowed his vehicle and we could just drive a freight train around the map? Put some big old tires on it, be, be pretty cool. Got a wheel spin here. I, usually I cut these out. I'll leave this one in. Some common black roll-up jeans. I bet you guys are really excited about that one. My goodness. Usually I, you know, obviously cut those out into one big video. But that's just for you. Okay. We've got one, one more event. One more expansion that we're going to be doing. Let me go see what we've got going on. Horizon Adventure. We are going to be doing the street scene. Born Fast. Take on the Born Fast Racing Society. Add another sticker to the map and one more expansion to so our campaign. Uh, I think Jay just wants campaign. to show you his new car. Although I have had a number of unknown callers asking about him. <sighs> What's he done this time? So it looks like this is going to be one of the, uh, you know, mission-based things. We've got eight missions in total. And we're meeting up with Pablo. There he is. So, uh, some street racers just turned up. Oh, huh. are they friends of yours? No, we're not friends. And we're not street racers, Jamin. We're the Born Fast Racing Society. But first. Yeah, more like Born Rich. <laughs> Mira, amigo, you're in my country now. So throw down on the road, or go home. Racing sounds good. Let's do this. So this is gonna be all about taking down the rich boys. Here we go, look at him with his Bentley. Now, born fast. 
Or dead last, mi amigo. <laughs> Y'all are real confident now. We'll see how this goes. Your boy's about to bring it. Got this hot hatch here, baby. Don't be surprised when you see me passing you and okay, pulling up in your you side ask, mirrors. I have no idea what that guy's problem is, and I'm completely innocent. Wait, who is this guy? It's Tristan. Let me start from the beginning. Already got him. A few years ago, I went to this midnight meetup in London. Heard it might be cool. Turns out, it was just a spoiled rich kids convention. So you beat him in a race? Well, yeah, but it was one race. You and I win and lose all the time. You don't go around being jerks about it. How come they've never been to Horizon? You ask me. The festival can do without these types. Steady on, Jay. Let's see if they can drive. Corner coming up. Let's see his turning circle. Looking pretty good so far, baby. Oop, we're going left here. Racing through the streets of the city here looking looking pretty good hop outside again all right so yeah we're just gonna put these guys in their place obviously they're not gonna like it if, if they get smoked we racing for slips i, I kind of feel like we should be racing for slips here i feel like we're gonna be able to take that corner pretty quickly not too shabby i like using like the uphills to to kind of break a little bit you can just keep Keep pushing through and not not worry about hitting that brake pedal at all. We got a two minute goal to get three stars. This is going to be close. I think we've got it. I've got skills, Pablo. We just need to get you a real street machine. I'll build a Chilo hot rod from scratch. Uh, don't worry, my father will pay for everything. <laughs> no need. Come down to street scene. We'll hook you up. How about you, Tristan? So we're being nice to these D-bags. I don't think so. I'm not going to stoop to racing you. You're not even in that ridiculous Hall of Fame of yours. Oh, I'll get there soon enough. We're getting close. So you guys have it. That is a little bit more of the Horizon story. I mean, the, the way you ultimately so beat this is... the smug crew aren't done yet. Tristan has organized another showdown at the stadium. You can head there now. Or, this is weird, but I got a call from the kid you'll be racing. Says he wants to talk to you. Your choice. But it sounds like a trap to me. I'm not going to worry about it right now. We'll, we'll come back, check these out in the future. But yeah, the, the way you kind of progress through the campaign in this is we're going to have to unlock all of the uh, the adventure things here, which we're actually starting to get close already. And then obviously you've got to rank up each individual type of racing, get to the final race. We're going to do that eventually. I feel like every once in a while we'll do one of these episodes where we focus more on the campaign in between buying and tricking out really sick cars. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Brand new houses, brand new expansions to the festival, really getting the word out there. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, peace out.